اهلا بيكم في كايرو دار احنا كنا اتكلمنا عن الدايجيشن ان ذا ستمك دلوقتي هنبدا نتكلم عن دايجيشن ان ذا سمول انتستين احنا نعرف ان السمول انتستين ديفايدد انتو تو مين بارتس ذا فيرست از ذا ديودنم 25 سنتيمتر اند ذا ريست اوف ذا 8 ميترز اباوت 7.75 سنتيمتر از ذا ايليوم انسايد ذا ديودنم ذا بايلز يوز باس ثرو ذا بايل داكت تو جيت انسايد ذا ديودنم وي اندرستاند ذات The pile juice is formed as the result of the secretion of the liver. That means the liver secretes pile, but it stored it inside the gallbladder. What about the function of the pile? Of course, the pile changes the fats into emulsified fats. That act as a digestion? Of course, that does not act as a digestion. Because the conversion of fats into emulsified fats means cut fats into small pieces that to increase the surface area that exposed to lipase enzyme. So the uh, the pile juice that responsible for changing the fats into emulsified fats that does not act as a digestion. The pile juice has no any digestive enzymes, so it just cut the uh, uh, fats into small pieces or decrease its surface tension to increase the surface areas that exposed to lipase enzyme. Uh, after that, the duodenum can receive the pancreatic juice. The pancreatic juice that pass from the pancreas to get inside the uh, duodenum through the pancreatic duct or hepatopancreatic duct. What about the pancreatic juice? The pancreas secrete NaHCO3, that's the sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is an alkaline substance that to neutralize the acidic chyme which pass from the stomach to get inside the duodenum. So the acidic HCL inside the duodenum form uh, acidic medium inside the small intestine. So NaHCO3 or the sodium bicarbonate neutralize the acidic chyme and they make the medium weak alkaline medium to help the enzymes to act because all the enzymes inside the small intestine can't act except at the presence of weak alkaline medium but they can't act in the acidic medium. So NaHCO3 is very important for the digestion inside the small intestine. And also the pancreatic juice containing pancreatic amylase. Pancreatic amylase similar to the salival amylase, which is called the thialin, that's secreted from the salivary glands. Pancreatic amylase similar to the uh, pan salivary amylase because it hydrolyzes starch or glycogen into maltose. We remember that starch acts as the uh, plant starch or carbohydrates, but the starch of animals called the glycogen. So the pancreatic amylase hydrolyzes glycogen into maltose. Glycogen acts as a polysaccharide, but maltose acts as a disaccharide. All the pancreas secretes lipase enzyme. Lipase enzyme is the enzyme that acts on lipids. So it hydrolyzes fats or emulsified fats into fatty acids and glycerol. But also the pancreas secretes trypsinogen enzyme. Trypsinogen. Gen means inactive. So the presence of coenzymes that's secreted inside the duodenum, inside the small intestine, is called the enterokinase enzyme. The enterokinase enzyme hydrolyze uh, activate trypsinogen into trypsin. So trypsin uh, act as a pepsin, uh, but the pepsin act in a strong acidic medium but trypsin in weak alkaline medium. Uh, pepsin uh, secreted inside the stomach and the act inside the stomach but trypsin, trypsinogen is secreted in an active state in pancreas in the form of trypsinogen. And it's activated by the enterokinase into trypsin inside the duodenum. The trypsin uh, change protein or hydrolyze protein into polypeptide. So the pancreatic amylase, in the pancreatic juice is uh, NaHCO3, pancreatic amylase, lipase, and the trypsin gene. What about the intestinal juice? The intestine responsible for the secretion of the intestinal juice. The intestinal juice containing a number of enzymes. That is a coenzyme which is called the enterokinase that is responsible for the activation of trypsinogen into trypsin. Because trypsinogen is secreted in an active state that to protect the cells that secrete the enzyme from the action of the enzyme. But also the small intestine uh, secretes the peptidase enzyme. If you remember that 
The polypeptide chain that formed at the, at the result of the action of pepsin inside the stomach and the trepsin inside the duodenum. Pepsin and the trepsin change the protein into polypeptide. Polypeptide means a number of amino acids that connected together by peptide bonds to form a polypeptide chain. So the action of peptidase enzyme is the breaking down the peptide bond between the amino acids, peptide bond between the amino acids to change the, uh, to change the uh, polypeptide chain into amino acids. So the peptidase enzyme that hydrolyzes polypeptide into amino acids. So the protein substance, the proteinic substance is, create, is digested inside the digestive system by the action of pepsin inside the stomach, trepsin which is secreted from the pancreas and the act in the small intestine, and the peptidase enzyme which is secreted from the small intestine to change the polypeptide into amino acids. But the small intestine secrete a group of enzymes that change the disaccharides into monosaccharides. Disaccharides as a maltose, sucrose, and lactose. So the enzyme which hydrolyzes lactose is called the lactase enzyme. Hydrolyzes lactose into glucose and the galactose. But maltase enzyme hydrolyzes maltose into two glucose molecules. Sucrase enzyme hydrolyzes sucrose into glucose and the fructose. So that is the digestion that takes place inside the small intestine. All the monomers that form it as the action of the enzymes inside the small intestine, they absorb it inside the small intestine in the villi of the small intestine. So the digestion changes the polymers as uh, polysaccharides into monosaccharides, change the protein into changes the, the uh, protein into amino acids and changes the fats into fatty acids and glycerol. That's the end of this part. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.